Hey there guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're actually taking a look at something that I know a little bit of you guys are still struggling with on your gold weapon grind in Season 4 of Modern Warfare. Long shots in the game are still a little bit of a hassle sometimes, but I've got some tips that should make it a little bit easier to get, and you should be on your way to racking up those gold camos and underway to platinum and then eventually Damascus. But just before we do talk about these tips here, let's try and get this video to 25 likes. The support from you guys has continued to be absolutely fantastic recently. We did absolutely smash 1,925 subscribers recently, so we're still working our way towards 2,000. And if you weren't aware already, we are having a giveaway over in my community Discord once we do hit 2,000. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on so you don't miss any more of these videos. Right, so let's just get straight into our tips here. So I have made a video like this previously featuring some of the same tips. So if you have seen that video already, you won't learn too much new information from this one. But I do have some helpful new stuff. So if you have seen that one already, maybe stick around. Anyway, if you have looked up this video or kind of tips previously, you've probably already heard just to go into ground war with a scope and try and pick people off. While this can actually be pretty useful, like it can take a fairly long time to rack up the necessary long shots just in ground war alone. Given that a number of gunfights that you'll end up getting in in ground war will actually be at close range when you are defending a flag, you'd basically have to sit on a roof or super far away from the point defending and you're trying to pick people off, which is pretty inefficient and also super boring and does get a little bit frustrating sometimes if you don't get your exact distances right. With a little research, the long shot distance for assault rifles in modern warfare is about 38 meters and it can be a little bit annoying trying to find this exact distance while you are in ground war. It definitely is a little bit easier to find your exact distance in warzone because you can ping people and it does show you how far things are away. So you can definitely do it in ground war but it is a little bit tricky sometimes and I think we have better methods to get this done. Next, this is probably the most helpful comment any single person has ever left me on any one of my videos. Rachel Avis has suggested that the best way to get long shots is to go into Warzone Rumble, which is the new game mode for Warzone, add it in Season 4, and shoot people out of the sky as they're dropping in. If you don't know about Warzone Rumble, it's basically big team deathmatch in Warzone where people constantly respawn and drop into the map. If you're looking for probably the easiest long shot you'll ever get, just look up while you're in Warzone Rumble and try and pick people dropping in off. I was a little skeptical at this first, but I did go into Warzone Rumble just to try it out for myself and I was pleasantly surprised. As people do get closer to the ground, it'll be harder for you to get those long shots, but if you are on the ground, sort of positioning yourself nicely away from the fights, like you can basically just focus on killing people as they do drop in. You better not die there or else you will be feeding into somebody else's long shots when you do very slowly parachute down. So this is probably one of the most helpful things that I've ever seen in a comment section on any YouTube video, not just mine. And this is a fantastic tip. So thank you very much for Rachel Avis for this particular tip. And we'll move on to a next one here. Next, for me personally, I didn't really notice the long shot skins being unlocked. They were just kind of finished without any super special effort from me. I typically find the mounted kills to be more of a chore, but you can actually do a lot of these challenges together sometimes with the right spots. And we're about to talk about a fantastic spot in the next tip, but seemingly just playing the game normally will get you a decent amount of kills but if you do want to shorten the length of time that it does take to get these challenges done combine some of them like the one where you have to get like their 100 kills or whatever it is with no attachments on you can do that with long shots and you can do that with like mounted kills or other things like that getting those extra little challenges done while you're sort of competing in those other challenges does make it a little bit easier sort of shortens your length of time overall and it's sort of a very easy way to rack up some easy camos but basically just seemingly playing the game normally will also get you a decent amount of kills especially now that you know that that the long shot distance is about 38 meters. You can actually consider taking on more gunfights that you might not have taken on before because they were a little bit too far away or because you might not hit the shot. But yeah, you basically just want to see if you can get those extra easy long shots just to add to your tally, just regular playing the game normally. If you want to shoot people who are further away, that is a fantastic idea. Next, and this is probably the best tip that we've got in this video. The best way to get long shots in Modern Warfare, and unfortunately this is a little bit more difficult for me at the moment as the Shoot House playlist is not available, which is a little bit disappointing, but I've jumped into a custom game with my guy Sam here and we're going to show this off for you. Probably the best spot in Modern Warfare to get easy long shot kills. For this, it'll make it much easier if you do throw on a sight, like a 3 times optic is perfect for this, like it seems about this is the right distance. You'll probably notice that on Shoot House, mostly every single game will have somebody on this table trying to peek over this wall. You can usually get people to fight with you in these spots if you do consistently jump up there, and people usually do take it as a challenge and you can spend most of the game there if you like. If you do sit here and get a kill on the other person peeking over the wall, you should get a long shot kill. Like this is the perfect distance for a long shot kill. I've tested this with SMGs and it definitely works. Assault rifles are pretty consistent with 
with this. This might not work for a sniper though. I'm not 100% sure of the long shot distance. For a sniper, it's probably a little bit further than we've got in this distance here. You can even do this with pistols if you are super confident, but I've got another tip for pistols and other weapons to make it a little bit easier. So this seems to be a super efficient spot and definitely one of the best spots in the game to get this done very, very quickly. You can easily get like 15 to 20 long shots just in this one spot alone. And depending on how the game goes, you might even get lucky and get like 30 long shots if you just sort of keep peeking up on that wall and someone keeps challenging you and then you can trade off and it sort of works very nicely together. So if you really want to make this as easy as possible, I did mention earlier that you can use a site, but which sort of site is the best for this particular situation? In my opinion, the best possible site that you can use for this is the Merc Thermal Optic. Every enemy lights up like a Christmas tree unless they are running cold-blooded, which might come up more if you are playing Warzone, but outside of Warzone, the Merc Thermal Optic has a great combination of a clear sight picture, thermal optics, and not terrible mobility, and it doesn't aim down sight too slowly, plus it's a really reliable sight. You can even combine this with a smoke grenade if you are feeling particularly saucy. If you are looking for the last few long shots that you do need, throw in a Merc Thermal Optic and just go to town on people. And second to last, this is always the best way to get camos in pretty much every Call of Duty game since the beginning of time, and it always gets overlooked, especially by me. I'm sure a lot of you know this and even maybe play this as your default game mode, but Hardcore is so great for anything camo related. It's so super easy to get kills that challenges are not really an issue here. People usually take like one or two bullets, depending on the gun that you are using. I mean, you can get like three, four shot kills with the M13, which is a bit rough, but if you do find decent spots like the one with we showed on Shoot House, you can easily get most of your challenges done in hardcore because of that reduced health. Like, if you are really pushing for that Damascus or even just adding one or two gold camos to your collection, you really should be playing hardcore because the challenges really just fly by if you are in there for a decent amount of time and you get a decent amount of kills. Realistically, if you are focusing on the challenges and you do get like 18 to 25 kills a game, it really should only take you between five to 10 games to unlock pretty much everything for that weapon apart from the total kill skins like the spray paint ones that you unlock for the first time and then at the end there that really just takes time like there isn't too much of a way around that so if we were to summarize everything that we have here basically the easiest way to get the most amount of long shot kills would be to play on this specific spot on shoot house play hardcore on this particular map on shoot house basically you want to have the thermal optic on whatever weapon you are using and just combine all these tips here basically this is the perfect distance on this shootout spot basically you just get your thermal optic up and then basically you play hardcore and it all comes together very very nicely basically chucking all these combinations together allows us to get the most long shot kills in any particular game that we are after assuming that people are doing the same thing like peeking up over the wall is a very advantageous spot for pretty much everyone like it's beneficial for trying to get kills normally but it's also super powerful spot like that head glitch is really really nasty so being able to get long shots there is super beneficial especially if you are using like a merc thermal optic and then taking advantage of the low health in hardcore so basically that is all the tips that we do have here just combined compressed into one little package making it really really easy and then after you've spent a decent amount of time in hardcore with the thermal optic on shoot house you're probably a little bit sick of it then basically the next best way is to go into warzone rumble which is still available as of recording this video big team deathmatch and just shoot people out of the sky still beneficial if you do have your merc thermal optic here long range attachments do typically help with this basically allowing us to shoot people from far away as they drop into the sky or drop out of the sky rather into the map it makes it very very easy for us to kill them sometimes it's a little bit tricky depending on what weapon you are using so if it's particularly easy with an assault rifle and maybe like a sniper you can get these done pretty easily so of course a big thank you to rachel abyss for that particular tip basically warzone rumble wasn't around the last time i made one of these videos but it's around now and it's a very very efficient way to get those long shot kills but hopefully all these tips did help you with your long shot quest basically it should be fairly easy after you follow these tips to get those long shot camos Anyway guys, hopefully these tips did help you out and you'll be flying through all the camo challenges now because once you do know how, they are pretty easy to knock off. Especially in hardcore, which is the camo hunter's dream for getting easy skins. And to make it even easier, just combine some of these challenges like taking the ones that are a little bit more difficult like your mounted challenges and combining them with the long shots or the ones where you just sort of have to get the kills without any of attachments. If this one did help you out at all and you did learn something new, make sure you do leave a like on the video and subscribe with those notifications turned on if you haven't already done so, so you don't miss out on any more of the videos and the giveaway information. We did of course very recently hit 1925 subscribers, meaning we are a quarter of the way there towards 2000, which is super, super exciting for me. That's a pretty big milestone, like we were at a thousand a couple of months ago, I think it was only about two months ago. So it should make it pretty exciting times, especially once we do give that giveaway out and then we'll move on from there. If there is something else that you need help with in game, make sure you leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. Or I might even make another video like this one. Thank you very much for watching guys. I will see you in the next video.
video. Bye!